Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are back playing Cube 2. And, uh, seems we've got another weird statue with a weird message. Paula. What has she done to you? What has she made you? Don't worry. I'll stay with you. I'll stay with you forever. What did you do to them? What did you do to these people? We don't even know if those are people. Hmm. Right, so now we get to do these four puzzles. Gotcha. Let's go ahead and take the one on the left here. Ooh. Interesting. It's very long-wise. Seems like we have some gaps across. Oh, that's the- that's the generator. Gotcha. Here is our edgeless safety cube. What's up here? This is a place where we need velocity. And that's how we get the velocity. Actually, I want to line up with that one. There we go. And... Hmm. Guess we just push this, right? There we go. That works. And this is... temporary. So now we want to do the same with a cube, I'm assuming? Yeah, so that works well enough. What happens if they both end up there? Oh! Oops, forgot about that. <laughs> uh, I think I actually wanted to be on that cube. <laughs> Let's try this again, perhaps. Yeah, so once I do that, I think it's... I think I don't need the gunk anymore. So I can head back down. And I can stand on this. That works. Wee. That was fun. We sent fragments of ourself, of our beautiful children, out into the universe, reaching, connecting, seeding planets with new knowledge, perfect knowledge. Perfect knowledge? Are you so sure about that? Okay then. Oh, that was a stunning, stunning occurrence. Oh, that barely works. Oh, oh, it didn't quite work. All right. Well, what about this trick that we learned a few millennia ago? There we go! And now we need it to be on fire, because of course we do. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we need it to be on fire? And I can't jump off of it. Fair enough. Hmm. Why though? That could push us up here. So that we can set stuff on fire, right? Yes. Oh, but now we can't gunk it up. So... Wait, did I need- did I even need to do that? I think I was supposed to jump on it from there- oh, okay, yeah.
There we go, that's what I'm supposed to do. There we go. So how did it go all go wrong, Simon? Did it happen at Site Alpha? Do we need to poison it like a venomous snake? Ah, eh, probably not. Right, so. There's a lot of pushing blocks around and rolling blocks around. It's getting a little bit tiring. But we shall see how things turn out. Okay, that did pretty much exactly what I expected it to. Right, why do we want it to be gunky, though? I like this convenient shadow to help us line things up. What does this one do? Hmm... Oh! Well... Okay. Sure. Let's go with that. So let's gunk it up. Set it ablaze. Catch that on fire. And then, rinse and repeat. Do that. Gunk it up. Set it ablaze, and... Perfect. Whoa, that's not exactly where I expected you to send me, but sure. Through the flames! Learners? What does that mean? No response, huh? You're not gonna ask what a false learner is? I swear, this character... <sighs> this character does not know how to respond to a conversation. Must be her amnesia. Okay, guess we'll figure out what that's for eventually. We got a nice little ramp here. Why have I done that? Oh, I guess I'm supposed to light it on fire in that time? Ooh, ooh, okay. So let's see, first of all... Let's do this. We need to get a cube on top of it. But not while it's gunky. Yeah, oops. There we go. Then we get it gunky. And then... Wait. I need the gunky cube over there, though. Uh... Hmm. What's the best way to get the gunky cube over there, exactly? What am I... Oh. Standing on that, I guess? Oh, wait, there's a... There's a bounce pad here? Oh, sure enough. So this is the one that will set it on fire, right? Yes, fire alone will save our clan. Good to note. We got a little corner up here with nothing in it. Just some chocolate cake mix. 
More chocolate cake mix over here. And... Now what? If I do this... Don't make the cube gunky. But... Oh, and it's even messed up now. Well, that's a problem. Whoa! Excuse me? Let's do that again. Oh, that counts? Okay. Maybe I can just do this then. Oh yeah, sure enough. <laughs> Apparently that reaches just far enough. So then we want to do... that as normal. Alright, then we run over here, and get ready to set it on fire. Transfer the fire. And... there we go. Burn in the fire. There we go. Everything we are. You're saying you created this. Not created. Enabled. Is that why you came back? To right a wrong? We did not. We came to bestow more. To enlighten further. Then why this? Why won't you tell me? Exactly, why won't you tell us? Can't you tell us what went wrong? Why are you running out of power? What happened? Did we try to destroy you when you were actually trying to tell us more knowledge? Achievement unlocked. Path to salvation. Okay. Is this our path to salvation now that the teleport's back on? Aren't you gonna ask some more questions before we get teleported out of here? the teleporter, or... I think that's where we came from, right? Yeah. Are we gonna teleport some leaves with us? Not the attack leaves. Anything but the attack leaves. Interesting. Ruined. This doesn't even say chapter, it just says ruined. What's back here? What the heck, there's just like a... There's... Like we can peek back behind here. Weird. Alright, I guess we'll walk forward into the purple area. It's very lovely visuals, by the way. I've been here before. This is where we fell. Fell to Earth. you touch, don't you? To gather knowledge, to survive. But you won't mimic life. That's why you're dying. 
Where did you get that from? You wonder how they knew it, and they knew your name. What They're sentient, all-powerful beings. They're all-powerful, sentient beings filled with knowledge, and you don't know how they could possibly know that you're pregnant. I think this person's amnesia is pretty bad. She really needs knowledge, guys. Impart your knowledge to her ASAP because her amnesia has taken a lot of knowledge from her. Systems override. Manipulation software upgrade detected. Infinity cubes now enabled. Unlimited module colors can now be placed. Okay then. Ah. Is there a limit? Kinda, not really. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, I guess they want me to do this, huh? I mean, it doesn't have to be this tedious, but sure. But we've got an infinity cube, guys. Does that mean that we can go fight the Avengers? I don't even know what I'm talking about, but there's th infinity stones are what they have, right? I don't know, I don't really read comics. <laughs> Alright. What do we have here? I'm sorry about what we did. I'm sorry we locked you away. But we needed to. We needed to protect ourselves. Don't you see? This isn't you. This is it. This is Still no explanation on that. She's not even asking like she talked about it once to Emma, but she hasn't asked the other people about it. She just says, what have you done to these people? And, like, at, are, are they people, or are they just statues? I'm not entirely sure this protagonist really understands anything in this game. Chapter 10, Uncomfortable Truths. What's so uncomfortable about the truth? Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, lots of uncomfortable things can come from truth. with the weird static sound. Okay, not sure what the point of that was. I could have done that even if I only had one to place. Although it would have been a bit execution based. This again? Didn't we do this once already? Pretty sure we did this once already. Come on now. What was the point of this again? I still don't understand the point of this. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's still pointless. Man. The visuals have really made a shift, haven't they? This is Commander Emma. Is 
She is stranded in an unknown location following mission success. Are there any survivors out there? You guys heard that too, right? That wasn't just me? Why is it so quiet, though? Hmm. What do they want me to do here? Nope. Okay, that wasn't quite what I expected to have happen there. Is there not- is there not an alternative way that could play out with the physics? Nope, that happens pretty much every time. Okay. What if I just get rid of that, and let it drop like a normal person? Well, that was just about the strangest interaction I've ever seen. Oh dear. Everything about this is just... kinda... buggy, I guess. So I guess I want to do... this instead? Do this. That should work. Should work. Oh. Okay. Sure. Alright. So the puzzles are just spam it until it works. Emma, are you there? Something terrible would be easier to explain, that's for sure. I heard you screaming, and then... Well, th there was an energy surge across the whole area. Like these structures had come alive. It did. What? This structure. All these structures. They are a living entity, a being. No, that's... Oh, God. When we broke it apart... It's parts. They've seeded the planet. I know what we need to do. Wait! You're not gonna tell her that it's benevolent? They're gonna try and destroy it now that you told it it's a living entity. You could have said a benevolent living entity, but instead you just said it's a living entity. Oh, there's stairs here. It's so dark I can't- I can't see the stairs that I'm supposed to walk up here because it's too dark. Right. What moves this? Interesting. What? Why though? Oh, okay. But uh oop, nope, nope. Right, well I'm not sure why that's a thing we have to do, but okay. So then... Then what? Uh... Okay then. Uh... Okay then. What? Why though? That's not gonna help in any way. Right? I don't see how that's gonna help. Can we still make it on top of it though? Almost. Come on. Alright, fine, 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 fine. Oh. Uh, hmm. I see now what I was supposed to do. Crap. 
Let's try this again. There we go. Simple as that. Not sure why it had to be designed in such a weird way though, but... Yeah, this works, I guess. Are you gonna tell her to not destroy them? Cause they're here to help? Tell Emma not to kill the entity. You know what humans do, humans destroy. So this moves this, right? Uh-huh. Hmm. Oh, that's not quite what I expected, but sure. So we can use this to get up to here, right? Oops, come on. Sure. Why not? Why is that even necessary, though? That just seems... excessive. Then we can move this... Which does... what- what exactly? Hmm... Why do I want to do this again? Exit's up there. I'm trying to open that, right? Tells me that's not exactly helping in any meaningful way. And I can move this guy closer, but why? How does that help? How does that help in the slightest? Uh. Did I miss something? Is there some part of this that I'm just not seeing? I don't see a way to drop anything on there. Pretty sure we want to launch a cube there, right? But how do I do that? Is there another thing on this side? No. What am I missing? That's ultimately not helpful. Neither is that. I could have gotten these cubes on here from the beginning, so... That's not particularly any different. I hear like sounds like a goopy watery sound is coming from somewhere. Hmm. What happens if we block? So we do that again.
Does this make a difference? Oh, that does make a difference. Oh, okay. Well, that's kinda disappointing. Okay. Okay. I'm just supposed to guess that the physics work out the right way for that to happen. Apparently. Physics! Physics. There wasn't anything else back here, right? No. Okay. Alright. Well, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!